weaponize Iran so the whole country can be smart bomb, and you'll see a whole bunch of dead women bleeding to death. But you won't see it on our news then. You seen somebody when a when a big two thousand pound bomb blows up fifty yards away and they get cut in half or get their head blown off? There's lots of blood then. You seen all the photos of dead little kids everywhere? And the neocons send me threatening emails when we post them, going, "Good, kill more of them kids." See, you're being manipulated with psychology. And, and they want to put a guy in power who announced he won the election before the polls were closed so he could then cause it. And when he's the guy that bombed the Marine Corps barracks, you're now loving the guy. But see, that's how it, you now love Gaddafi because you're not real conservatives, those of you out there. You're sicko freaks who are just mentally ill and worship the system. You're toadies. You're bootlickers. You're cowards. But none of this is important. Missing governor was in Argentina. He told everybody he was going on vacation. He told them where he was. His political enemies made this up. And because he's not going along with the New World Order on several issues. I'm not saying the guy's a good guy. Just that It's just like Ron Paul gets told he's in a big hotel banquet room next to a suite. And that, that the a Austrian newspaper wants to interview him. And he walks in and they say, please go in here, sir, while we move some equipment. He goes into a room next to it. Sasha Baron Cohen runs in and drops his pants, and Ron Paul runs out of the room, and the media is saying Ron Paul's got to explain himself. See, this is them trying to kill his political future. And the dumb public loves petty things like this. Oh, oh, the governor went somewhere. He's bad. Oh, Ron Paul got set up by the guy that did Borat. You know. Meanwhile, they're putting cancer viruses in your shots. I mean, can you start caring about the cancer viruses in your shots? You care about your kids enough to do that. Can, can you at least stop giving them fluoride water? By the way, the stuff you buy from municipal water supplies, it better come from a spring of its bottle of water, or it means it was put through um, just charcoal filters and the fluoride was left in. And, and, I, and I can't believe I'm the radical. I'm the bad guy because... Musavi, Musawi, they pronounce it different ways, celebrated in Iran protest, but was the butchers of Beirut on record. Now I'm bad because I'm not for blowing up the Marines. I mean, that's how sick these neocons are, man. And Obama, look at this liar saying the CIA is not involved when the CIA is on record running the whole thing, bragging about it. You got Brzezinski and Bolton and Kissinger bragging they're running it. And then he's on TV saying, I mean, look at that cokehead liar. There's just no end to these people. Western stooge, son of the Shah, positioning himself to take power in Iran. Got this report up on prisonplanet.com and infowars.com. Look at this exclusive U.S. Connect contacted Ayatollahs before election. State cuts tax exemptions for kids, San Francisco Chronicle. See, and, and then next they're going to tax you for having kids. They're already announcing that. That's the San Francisco Chronicle right there. And, you know, I guess going back to Iran, the big message here is the police state's good, but not. The police state's good but not in Iran, then it's, then it's bad. Documents back Saudi links to extremists, New York Times. This just came out today. Of course, that was a Saudi operation. Who works for the CIA and Mossad? We've already had the head of the embassy there on tape saying, yeah, they told us let the hijackers in the U.S., even though they were flagged as terrorists because they were that was a CIA cover. Pakistan official behind killing of 11 French engineers. And then look at this report. Climate bill set for vote. After a deal is reached, they're saying they're not letting the public see the bill, but that it does have a tax on all carbon, and the feds are basically completely taking over, but the public can't see the bill before it is passed. You can go read the Wall Street Journal article. And they just act like that's totally normal, because the Wall Street Journal, owned by the big banks, and Rupert Murdoch's going to be taking your money and putting it directly in their fat mouths, just like Goldman Sachs is getting record bonus money off the bailout money. Record bonuses for those crooks. Obama, we will get health care reform this year. And it'll be 
let the kind of care the Native Americans get, being sterilized and euthanized, the kind the VA veterans get. Obama condemns violence against Iranian protesters. It's all just too rich. Um, got a few other stories I'm going to hit, but let's go to calls right now. John in Washington, you're on the air. Go ahead. How are you doing, Alex? I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm exposing these murderers. That's, that's what I do. Well, that's what I'm trying to do here, too. I live right between two uh, relatively large um, Indian reservations, and um, I've had several discussions with these folks about, oh, just uh, different things and a great deal about uh, uh, this eugenics issue, and, and they just basically open-handedly deny it. So what I've done is I've rented the uh, screening room at the community center, and I'm going to invite all of the officials from the uh, yeah, BIA and how this so works. forth, and we're just going to watch that uh, watch that show and see what they think about that. Good. Let me explain how this works. They're not evil people, probably, but they're in denial. They rationalize what they're doing because they think reality is what they decide it is in their head. Like, oh, this isn't a cliff. I'll just jump off. But but it is a cliff. So they're delusional. And they always hire people. They all, the government always gives the money to the little group that steals most of it, controls it. And, and, you know, it's the corrupt Indian agents. And, and then they just hire the corrupt tribes to do it. It's on congressional record that up until the 1980s, they sterilized 40 plus percent of Native American women. It was in the London Guardian yesterday, the UN sterilizing women and lying to them about what the procedure is. They just say, oh, I am the doctor. You need to be put under now, honey. And then we're going to give you medicine for that broken leg, and they sterilize you. Or you come in for dentistry, and they knock you out on the gas and sterilize you. So and that's London Guardian yesterday. So all of this is happening and going on. So I would go to the tribes themselves and explain, uh, I, uh, you know, the pimp leaders are in denial because they, they don't want to notice what's going on. But, but uh, go ahead personal invitations to this and the screening room is at the community center on the reservation so we're, we're going to draw a crowd there one way or the other and and just let them understand because what bothers me so much about this is that they get plied with cash for every conceivable reason if you go to your aa meeting you get a check if you you know it's just whatever and they think that the federal government is their good buddy and their friend and i've tried to tell them that ever since to my knowledge, ever since the, the, the scandal concerning Geronimo, the Indian tribes, I, name one treaty that the federal government has ever lived up to. No, no exactly. I've got Indian articles nation. today where they're making six-year-olds go into counseling if they misbehave in school. It's going into a mind control induction cult center where the, where, where, where the see, see they, they tell the parents, don't discipline your kids. Then the kids are bad, and the state tasers them to death. This is all about mind control, all about the state stirring up as much trouble as they can. It's in their own handbooks. I appreciate your call. Order out of chaos. Nate in Georgia. Nate, you're on the air. Hey, how you doing, Alex? Um, Good. Um, well, the reason why I'm calling is, first and foremost, I wanted to thank you. Uh, I had watched a lot of the Zedgeist movies back before I had discovered you, and um, you really turned me on and opened me up a little bit more. However, uh, this, this call is actually concerning today's show and another show that you had a few weeks, a couple of days ago, about the reptilian brain. And uh, I had did some research on the reptilian brain and how it functions, and I was appalled at the stuff that I found out. Um, well, uh, con concerning the eugenics program that you're talking about, um, I did some little research and I put two and two together. Well, I was on YouTube the other day and just going through some clips about the reptilian brain, and I read, I came across this one clip. Uh, it said, uh, what lies in plain sight? And it was a Michael Jackson video. Well, this gentleman did an analytical breakdown of the video, and it was a psychological manipulation teaching people to engage in homosexuality and uh, 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 male, um, male homosexuality and male... I mean, here's the deal. Uh, no I'm not even judging or attacking those people, but the issue is, yes, yes, if you go to Planned Parenthood's main website, it's all about how to be gay or lesbian because they don't want you having kids. They decided 100-plus years ago, teach the slaves to not have families, break the family up, try to make it fashionable to have uh, a male on male, female on female, so that they stop having kids so they don't have a family unit, so society is decimated. 
See, they want everybody to be part of the state. So the family has to go to be absorbed. So it's them persecuting the family. CPS takes the babies.